Alright, so good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is Allison from Popstat. I am the director of the best Christmas pageant ever. Um, I'm really excited. This is our last performance, so I'm really glad we have a full house. Uh, just a few quick announcements before we get started. Um, if you could please turn off your cell phones. We also have a donation box over there behind. Um, the show, we had to pay $200 just to get the rights to the show, so everything's legal. Um, and it would be great if we could make that back in donations so we could do more stuff like this in the future. So. Um, that said, I think we can dim the lights and enjoy the best Christmas party ever. Yay, Allie! The Herdmans were the worst kids in the whole history of the world. They lied, and stole, and smoked cigars, even the girls. And they talked dirty, and cussed to their teachers, and they took the name of the Lord in vain. And they set fire to Fred Shoemaker's old broken down tool. Now there were six of them. Ralph, Imogene, Leroy, Claude, Ollie, and Gladys. They went around the Woodrow Wilson School like those South American fish that stripped the bones clean. They went around the town the same way, stealing things and tearing things up and wearing them. So it was hard to get away from them. Pageant? There's going to be something different this year. What? Charlie's going to wear your bathrobe. You just <laughs> thought that up. Joseph. Elmer Hopkins will pay you a dollar for Joseph. Elmer is always sick of being Joseph just because his father is the minister. Nobody wants to be Joseph. Nobody wants to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to be this year? I'm always in the angel choir. Why can't Charlie be in the angel choir? Because I can't sing. <laughs> From what I hear, uh, that's not a serious drawback. The way in a manger always sounds like a closet full of mice to me. <laughs> what do you wear in the angel choir? Bed sheets. Oh boy, some choice. A bathroom or some bed sheets. <laughs> Come on, let's go watch some TV. You know. Mrs. Armstrong works very hard to give everyone a lovely experience. Mom, Mrs. Armstrong just likes to run things. They're right, of course. 
she directs the Christmas pageant, she runs the potluck supper, and she's the chairman of the Christmas Bazaar. I think Helen would preach the sermon if anyone would let her. Is that George Armstrong's wife? Yes. Well, she might try managing the hospital because that's where she is. I saw George this morning at, at the drugstore. He said his wife broke her leg this morning. She'll be in traction for two weeks and laid up till the first of the year. The first of the year? Well, they'll have to cancel Christmas. <laughs> she's in charge of Christmas? Well, she's in charge of the bazaar and she's in charge of the pageant. I feel sorry for Helen, but who's going to do all those things? Supper. I haven't had a square meal in three days. <laughs> well, for heaven's sake, it's you. <sighs> I was lonely at the table. We're gonna do our best. Well, I guess Helen Armstrong was lonely at the hospital. <laughs> Not as long as the telephones are working. I bet she's really got no small parts, only small actors. And getting someone to shove the baby angels on stage and telling the shepherds to shut up? Yes, she suggested your father. <laughs> Does that mean I have to go? <laughs> and Grace, don't let just anybody's baby be Jesus. Get a quiet one. Better yet, get two. That way if one gets fussy, you can always... My mother didn't pay much attention to Mrs. Armstrong. She said Mrs. Armstrong was stuck in the hospital with nothing to do but think up problems. Of course, Mother didn't count on the Herdmans. That was Charlie's fault. 